Hey, yo, family, what's good? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Thesis. We back with another one. First, shout out to my fam out there. Track bout, man. They've been doing an awesome job with Ripcord. They came at us with an update. So this one's 2.6. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm just going to show you guys briefly the new updates. Lock in. Y'all stay tuned. If you've never had Trackbout, Trackbout basically is a free MIDI plugin that you can create uh, chord progressions in and you do it with the stroke of one key. I have some tutorials up about this. So if you guys wanna go back and check out those tutorials, check out the video right there. Basically what Ripcord has done, it was 2.5, now we're in 2.6. So again, like I said, if you don't know the website, it's trackbout.com. Already have an instance up of Ripcord. First update that they did was the rescaling of the actual vst which is super dope like i'm excited they put that in because sometimes i might want to scale it back that's one of the major uh things to me that i think was a, a major plus for that feature set uh the next thing that they did was they have what they call tags basically the way a tag work if you look right here you hit a plus and you can name a tag name so we're just going to name this neo soul and once you name Neo Soul, you just hit create tag and that's your actual tag now for Neo Soul. The way that you operate it is you actually go and you hit this, you hit the check first and then you scroll down to let's say anything that has Neo Soul in it or anything you wanna put in there. It says Neo Soul, just go ahead and click into it and I'll go ahead and just put all these now. And then once you do that, you just take the click off and now when you wanna go and just check for Neo Soul, you just click into that and now you have all things Neo Soul or you have all things that you put inside of that tag. Very, very nice, really excited about that. And also now you can go down here and search presets. All right, so let's type in jazz and now you know all those presets will come up affiliated with that word or chords for jazz which is extremely tight disclaimer i said that you could not save inside of ripcord i made a huge huge mistake you can actually save inside of ripcord the way that you do it you just go and you duplicate the actual preset and then you rename the preset so that's the save as feature inside of ripcord a lot of people was looking for like a physical save as but it's not a physical save as you just have to duplicate the actual preset once you do that then you can go and just rename it whatever you want and then that saves the preset again man like i said ripcord is one of the like tightest things to me out here uh yeah definitely excited about the new updates shout out to fred and the team out there at Trackbout. thank you so much guys really excited to be a part of what you guys are doing if you guys like this video please make sure that you hit a like and then drop a comment on this to let us know how you think this should be even advanced even more for what ripcord is going to be doing and also make sure that you hit a bell notification so that when we get videos like this you guys will be the first to get the notification is that anytime we do new videos you'll get the first one to be notified that we did it always you know boosted man to be seeing what's going on in the production community love updates so y'all already know who it is it's your boy thesis peace